My uh, project is called Metalheads because it's about fans of the Olympics. <laughs> to be honest, I love the Olympics. I've been watching them since I was eight. I would stay up all night to see all the nations walk in the opening ceremonies, watch Taekwondo competition back when I still trained, and picked random countries to root for whenever the US or India wasn't playing. But I got really annoyed watching it on American television. There always seems to be something out of frame, out of sight. You see the corporate sponsors, the International Olympic Committee, the host nation, the competing nations, and the athletes. But you, <laughs> but see, you're awake now. Okay, but <laughs> you don't see the audience. However, understanding the audience is the key to understanding the PD of the Olympics. I boiled it down to three key elements. First, shared experience. Obviously, you don't get the same sentiment at home when you're watching TV in your pajamas. There's a big difference between watching the games on NBC, watching them in a stadium of 80,000 people, and watching them in the Irish house. But more importantly, from a PD perspective, the Olympics provide person-to-person -person person engagement and real-time experiences that pulls people through similar highs, emotional highs and lows, and makes people feel connected. And as you can see in um, uh, this clip I wanted to show you, um, which is in the Irish House, as I mentioned before, um, it shows that connection and okay, and uh, that special um, okay. that special feeling you get when you watch it in real time. Okay. Ireland is a small country and it's had very limited success over the years, but in boxing we seem to be able to fight. This is a girl, this is the first time that ladies boxing is at the Olympics. And this is the world champion in her division. She's been unbeaten for seven years and she's now in the final. Everyone thought she was a shoe in to win. I watched watch the match and she always did. Wow, I could stay here forever. I could really enjoy this forever. Um, and I, actually, I wanted to know if. Uh, any of you actually know who Katie Taylor is? No, right? Um, because from an on-site perspective, her win is important because experiencing, as it ha experiencing it as it happens helps you situate yourself in that moment of history. As the man in the Irish flag notes, um, this is the first time women's boxing is in the Olympics, so that allows an Irish champion to become a global one. But the thing is, because of American television, we don't really see that. Um, this ties into my next point. Branding. At the Olympics, you meet a variety of people from different nations and see how they see themselves. At hospitality houses, like the Irish house that you just saw, you were encouraged to become a fan for that nation. The Dutch fans, in particular, were, wore the color orange to show their pride and encouraged others to do the same. Uh, as you can see in this picture of Kia and I in the hospitality house, uh, the Dutch hospitality house. Of course, you also see how countries see your nation, all based on a very specific criteria you have no control over. When people would s find out we were American, they would say things like, you're doing quite well, and, or I like it when you guys lose. Um, <laughs> now, this is standard, but instead of basing their ideas on politics, they base it on how you're doing it Olympics-wise. Some countries, like Jamaica, were extremely well known for their athletes, while other nations found themselves losing their cachet, like Europeans and Australians. From their perspective, when they win eight gold medals, they see um, not wins to be celebrated, but an absence to be mourned. But other countries, like Tunisians, Jamaicans, and even the host country of the UK, celebrated each victory with equal enthusiasm. This leads to my next point, hope. Uh, when a country like Tunisia, the first nation in the Arab Spring, um, 
wins gold, it means something. When Team GB, or Great Britain, has celebrity athletes because they want to inspire a generation to play sport, it means something. When a Saudi Arabian woman uh, participates in athletics when she comes from a country that has a public ban on women playing sports, it means something. All these elements point to what I think is a very key di um, public diplomacy uh, sentiment, the potential for progress. Uh, I think there's a very important, I think that's a very important part of being a fan of the Olympics. You enjoy it because you think it means something, and it does mean something because you believe in it. Thank you. <laughs>